Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vaibhav Roy. In this video we are going to study about the matrices. What is a matrices? A rectangular arrangement of elements arranged in m rows and n columns is called as a matrices. Okay? The order of a matrices is read by m by n that is rows by columns. A matrix can be represented as follows. A matrix can be enclosed in a square brackets or a circular brackets or like this. Now let's see about some of the types of the matrices. First one, a rectangular matrix. A matrix is said to be a rectangular matrix if the number of rows are not equal to the number of columns in a particular matrix. Example of a rectangular matrix is this one. Here there are two rows and three columns. This is a rectangular matrix. A square matrix. A matrix in which the number of rows is equal to the number of columns is called a square matrix. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. It is also known as a square matrix. A diagonal matrix. A square matrix in which except the diagonal elements other elements are zero are known as diagonal matrix. This is diag KKK. The line in which diagonal elements are present is known as principal diagonal. A scalar matrix. A matrix in which the principal diagonal elements are same and remaining elements are zero is known as a scalar matrix. For example, a 3 by 3 matrix here that the principal diagonal elements are 5. So this is a scalar matrix with order 3 by 3. A unit matrix. A square matrix in which the principal diagonal elements are 1 is known as a unit matrix. It is also known as identity matrix represented by I3. 3 represent the order of the matrix. This is 2 by 2 matrix which is I2. <coughs> null matrix. A matrix in which all the elements are 0 is known as a null matrix. Row matrix. A matrix which consists of only one row is known as row matrix. For example, 1, 2, 3 in one row. The basic order of the row matrix is 1 by n. Column matrix. A matrix which consists of only one column is known as a column matrix. The basic order of the column matrix is m by 1. Real matrix. The matrix in which all the elements are real is known as a real matrix. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4. The order is 2 by 2. A complex matrix. A square matrix in which some of the elements are complex numbers or all the elements are complex numbers is known as a complex matrix. For example, 2i, 4i plus 3i, 0, 2 minus 8i, which is 2 by 2 order which is of 2 by 2 order is a complex matrix transpose of a matrix rearrangement of rows by columns is known as a transpose of a matrix for example a is equal to 1 2 3 5 2 1 7 4 8 transpose of a is equal to 1 5 7 writing the columns and rows that is interchanging the rows with the columns the first row is written in the first column. The second row is written in the second column. And the third row is written in the third column. This is called a transpose of a matrix. 
represented by the symbol a power t or it is also read as a transpose symmetric matrix if a is equal to a transpose then that matrix is called symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix if a transpose is equal to minus a then that matrix is said to be skew symmetric singular matrix if det a is equal to 0 then that matrix is said to be a singular matrix if det a not equal to 0 then that matrix is said to be non singular matrix how to find the det of a matrix let's suppose a 3 by 3 matrix this is an identity matrix finding the det of a implies first element into AD minus BC that implies 1 into 1 minus 0 minus of second element that is 0 into AD minus BC that implies 0 into 0 plus third element into AD minus BC that implies 0 minus 0 so debt of A that is debt of I3 is equal to 1 this is how we find the debt of a 3 by 3 matrix upper triangular matrix a matrix in which the elements below the principal diagonal are 0 is known as a upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix the elements in which the matrix in which the elements above the principal diagonal are zero is known as a lower triangular matrix orthogonal matrix if a into a transpose is equal to i then that matrix is said to be orthogonal matrix example a is equal to cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta idempotent matrix if a square is equal to i then that matrix is said to be idempotent matrix nilpotent matrix if a power n is equal to 0 then that matrix is said to be a nilpotent matrix that's it for this tutorial for all my videos please visit my youtube channel that is www.youtube.com slash if you have any queries comments or suggestions please email me to Vibhav Roy at the rate of engineer.com. Thank you for watching.